Hi, this is Shelley Thomas from Pitch Publications. Today I'm going to show you how to insert a text box into an editable PowerPoint. I've already navigated to my PowerPoint and to the slide I want to enter text into. I'm going to go to the top and click Insert Text Box. I'm going to draw a text box roughly where I want it, type my desired text. Then I clearly need to make my text match my other fonts. So I'm going to highlight my text, click Home. I'm going to type in the text name, the font name rather, which is Font Diner Swanky. Kind of a fun little font. Clearly it's not big enough, so I'm going to go right up here and I'm going to click Increase Font Size until it grows to roughly the same font size as my other text. It's not quite in the position I want, so I'm just going to drag it over here. And though I can't show you on screen, I'm going to fine tune it by using the arrow keys just to nudge it around until I have it roughly even with the other text. When I'm ready to go to the next slide, I'm just going to honestly highlight that. I'm going to go edit, copy, go to the next slide, and I'm going to do edit, paste. Then I can just change the text to question two. I will repeat that until I have all my questions ready to go, and then I will save it and my PowerPoint will be ready to show to students. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Hi, this is Shelley Thomas from Pitch Publications. Today I'm going to show you how to hide slides in a slideshow if you want them to remain there for you to use later, but when you actually show them to students, you don't want it to be in part of your slideshow. So I'm working today with my Peter and the Wolf assessments. There's 74 different options and I'm obviously not going to ask students all 74 questions in my general music class. So I'm going to pretend that I'm just doing a quick little two question test. So I don't mind if it has this first title slide here, but I really don't want it to have this one where it says general questions. There's a couple different ways you can do this. One way is to click the slideshow tab up top and then you can just click hide slide and you'll see over here in the side that it's grayed out. When I go to play my slideshow, you'll see that it jumps from the beginning title slide right into the first question. If you want to hide multiple slides, then what I suggest is coming over here and clicking your slides by clicking the first one, and then I hold the shift key and I'm gonna go down all the way to slide eight. Then I'm gonna go up to the top menu and click slideshow and I'm gonna click hide slide and you'll see over here that it hid all of these. All of the slides that I had shown you is hidden. If I'd like to unhide them, I'm just going to highlight the slide. I'm going to click hide slide and it brings it back. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.